Well, it came out well. George Fat Ninja Farm <clears throat> came out to take a video of the swales. I haven't got enough rain to fill them up. I don't know if you can tell from here, but we'll walk up through. I do want to show, and uh, it's about eight years, ten years ago, I guess, we put in the first two big swales. Filling those swales with the wood chips. I, I talk about this a lot. There's just the heavy carbon, allowing the chickens and ducks into there, eating the insects out of those wood chips. Uh, it also causes the earthworms and insects from underneath to, to feed on them. Great soil, great soil in one year that way because the chickens are adding the nitrogen to it while they're pooping in there. But we'll look at some of the soil. <clears throat> and the thing that hit me while I was out here looking at the swales is it just kind of hit me. It's been eight, ten years. We used to have this big sloped property. And I put these swales in, the small hoogle mounds behind them. And I put the branch lumber of trees in uh, and filled it up with straw. So on the bedding from the chickens and leaves and covered it with a little teeny bit of topsoil I had from some layer gardening. We've been doing these swales for eight, ten years now, bringing them with wood chips, digging them out every year, digging what's inside the swale, and top dressing the bed below it. And now all these beds going up through here are nice and flattened out. I actually had the problem, we call it that this year, my beds are getting too tall and I don't have the retaining material for the walls in front. Uh, I've been pressing stone, it's just kind of outrageous, it costs us four or five thousand dollars, and I can't justify that. Yeah, I guess. But anyways, let's walk up through. You can see I use old things like timbers and uh, blocks left over from job sites and tiles and the half logs from mills, anything I can use. But I dig these swales out every year and pile it on top. So these have been dug out <clears throat> Excuse me. already. I'm starting to fill them back up with wood chips now. There's the wooden bridges in this one. But all these beds... Used to be little teeny beds in the back of it. There were just swales across the property. I changed it a little bit. They've all been filled up as these perennials have been put in here. Dug out every year. You can see we're refilling this with wood chips now and put on top. But just an incredible amount of soil. It's taken years, it's been a decade, but it's slow and steady solutions. That's what we say in permaculture. All these flat beds you see was one sloped property. We've just been building them since then. We didn't bring in any soil. A couple of the compost over the year, very little. One actually, two. One in the beginning and one last year. It was a gift from a friend. Just from using the animals. They're locked up right now. It's springtime, everything's coming in. I don't want to tearing it up. The organic matter, the leaves and the straw and the wood chips and the fungal component that's there in the ground. Plants, animal, and fungi working in a symbiotic relationship to create surplus. There's some of the fungus there. You can see the mycelium in that. All right, keep this shorter. Building soil, Fat Ninja Farm. Change can be better than holiday. Peace.